You guys want to know more about me? Because you subscribe to me, so that means you fucking care, right? Just kidding. I know I have like a substantial amount of subs that are just people who want to shit on me. Either way, you're going to be watching this, and that works for me. So, last time we spoke, I was gay. Tranny. I'm not well. <laughs> Every time I wake up in the morning, I'm covered in mud. I am a fucking mess. Oh. Yeah, but I need to, like, take it easy on the drinking, because, like, stressed. I'm stressed, and my vagina's bleeding. Okay. What was I saying? What the fuck was I saying? What the fuck was I saying? I don't even know what I was saying. Oh, I had to bend up my ass, so. <laughs> Never, ever had a job before. Get a job. So all I've been doing lately is complaining about guys going on Tinder, going on Second Life and complaining about guys going on Tinder, and then only getting up to take thirst traps from my Snapchat to finesse these boys that are not good for me and that I don't really like. It's so funny how I want to grow up and be a housewife, but I can't even make my own bed. And I'm 20. But more. And it's not about being a brat. Or about the penthouse my daddy bought me. I've concluded that being known and famous, growing up I always wanted to just do something different and special. And being famous isn't different and special anymore. Anybody can be famous, infamous, known, get likes. Like if you have to be these things to feel secure within yourself, like you've got a lot of fucking shit to work on. There has to be something within your fucking brain that says, wow, like, anybody can accumulate all these statistics, but like, what the fuck does that make you? Are you even okay? Growing up, I always wanted to just do something different and special, and being famous isn't different and special anymore. I want to. Like, I don't want to come on here and hurt people's feelings. It's not what I'm trying to do. And I'm not here to give a fuck about if what I say hurts your feelings. I've been very candid and open on my YouTube lives as of recent, uh, specifically talking about boys. Watch my YouTube lives, you probably know too much. At least stuff, like I also like guys who are not like chest hair, but like other places. My the video was. I do like hairy guys. Not like beard, like down to here. I don't even really like beard, beard, beards. Like where I could like stick my fingernails into it. Like and pull it, you know what I mean? But like I like hairy guys elsewhere. I want to stick my fingers into elsewhere. My dad really yells at me when I do videos like these. Like he actually yells at me for making videos like these. On shit, sometimes I put it on my arms. <laughs> It gives me a little freshen up when ugly guys sweat on me. In my last video, some of the comments were like, Why do you seem so thirsty? And I'm like, because I'm thirsty. Like, why would a guy want you and you're like so desperate? And I'm like, because I'm desperate. For him to love me. And I'm gonna fucking post up these flyers. And we're gonna find me a fucking boyfriend. I'm on a different level. I'm desperate. Fuck me. Someone yelled at me the other day saying that all I do is talk about guys on my YouTube channel now. I am under a microscope. I've done it to myself. People to myself. People really look into my life. It, it literally confuses me that people even make like threads about me on the internet because I mean that is just absolutely insane to me because I don't fuck with that kind of shit. I don't release that kind of shit. I don't care enough to even address it most of the time because it's just such a waste of time. I just don't care about that kind of shit. It doesn't bother me. You can say whatever the fuck you want to me. I just don't value negative pieces of shit that don't want to make my life better. And I can't find it in me to care what these irrelevant, negative wastes of space and oxygen have to say. I don't care. Simple as that. I'm literally on my Instagram live like telling you guys this and getting emotional and being a fucking mess That people are gonna upload to YouTube and fucking be nasty in the fucking comments I do care like I, I live my life for so long not caring and I do care because why are people like that? What the fuck is wrong with you people? What is wrong with you? Like, leave me the fuck alone, dude. I literally hate you like it's it's at the point where, like I hate these people I really do hate you and I wish nothing good for you <laughs> at all here who are like that like you people exist There are so many of you fuckers watching this god damn you fucking 600 people Fuck most of you because I bet you're the fucking scumbags that I'm talking about because you're crazy and obsessed with people That you don't even fucking like that is weird. You're fucking weird You're weird. It's like I have a relationship with you because you're fucking here. It's like 
you're weird. It's not normal. It's not normal. I have never in my life gone on a live stream with somebody that I don't fucking care about. Like, that I don't want to know if they're okay or, like, something's happening. What the fuck is wrong with you? Like, what the- What is going on? You know what I want is to fucking swing on you, you stupid annoying. Annoying. You're annoying. I'm telling you, one day you're gonna fucking get it. If it's not from me, it's gonna be from somebody else. Like, I literally, like, despise you. You're not a fucking wizard for reposting what I say on my you now. I don't know, nigga. I don't need to be like, wow, you're a retard. Like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Because that's already prevalent, and it's, like, blatantly obvious if you do these kind of things, something's wrong, <laughs> that you're off.